everybody how's it going i'm out here fishing with my dad trying to get some uh, bites this is the first bass i caught today my dad had a couple action over there and the lily pads are full bloom here and they're super strong and trying to fight these fish through lily pads is kind of tough um but yeah first bass of the florida trip lots of fun hopefully i'll be able to get another one and uh yeah we'll see how many i can get how's it going folks me and my dad are at the next stop in our little pond hopping trip we we're fishing this area and i was bringing my lure through the lily pads and i saw a fish following it up and i gave it a quick pause and he and he held my lure i set the hook and as i was bringing around the water he kind of flipped and he was able to get off my lure but he was still landing on the grass and i believe this is my first flyer uh which is a crappie bluegill bluegill hybrid like i said i think this is a flyer which is a crappie bluegill hybrid um i could be wrong it could be rock bass but i really think this is a flyer um let me know in the comments if you guys have caught in these before this is my first time catching one as far as i'm aware and uh really cool another species to add to the list hope you guys enjoy how's it going folks i got my first bass of the day here me and my dad are hitting the ponds in my cousin's neighborhood really good day it's probably about 50 degrees it's gonna warm up a little bit today um yesterday was a really good day as well we uh have some lunch plans later on so we're gonna try to fish fish as much as we can before them and hopefully we'll be able to bring you some more some more of these guys some more bass so I'll see you then how's it going folks caught this little bluegill here um that's what we call them up north at least bluegill panfish I, this might be a brim i'm not too sure it's got that red tail here or that little orange um shaded you know fin even back here towards the ends of these little fins it's turning orange red kind of cool my dad asked me if they're bedding We're not, i'm not too sure honestly this may be the natural color of them i mean there is a chance that it is irritated um, from clearing out beds and stuff but uh, i can't be certain but it is a beautiful fish nonetheless i am certain of that really cool pattern gonna let him go hope we can get another one hey guys just caught this bluegill here um it's kind of similar to the last fish i caught honestly the only reason why i'm believing it is a bluegill are there's two black dots back here on these fins um bluegills have those and that's a you know a way to determine them from other species i could absolutely be wrong but i really think that this is a bluegill not too sure if that last one was a brim but you know it's a pan fish nonetheless and this has got some size to it so if i was a hungry man i'd be lucky Going, folks got another bass here i was uh working my way back to my dad fishing an area and i've been casting around i guess you could call it like a submerged brush pile it's kind of hard to explain but there's a bunch of twigs and stuff i had to work my trout magnet through and i realized my lure was moving without the wind or without me moving it so i set the hook and this guy was on the other end beautiful fish guys awesome fight he came out jumping and really cool so i'm gonna get a picture real quick and then i'm gonna let him go awesome fish hey guys i was just uh, here on a sunday morning and uh throwing on this frog and uh this crappy came up and got it so i'm really fortunate yeah it was really an insane catch i was on the other side watching my dad and i had noticed that something came up and bursted on the surface and i had you know made him aware of it and he cast it over a few times in that area and you know it was like the first couple of casts when we weren't expecting it they came up and hit it and uh, he'd been working that area very hard, you know, kind of fanning out like a cast and, and, and making good uh, decisions. And that last one there, he was ringing, he was bringing his lure through the lily pads. And this guy came up and, you know, made it his lunch. So really good fish. We're going to get some pictures real quick. Again, maybe we can get the, if you want to let it hang so we can really get the, the size. Because this thing is really, really thick. It's, uh, I don't even know, like, like an inch mad uh, me and my dad were saying we don't know if it's if it's the the biggest fish in the sense of length but it might be the the biggest the, the biggest and heaviest crappie he has caught um so really amazing we got on top water he caught it on a bass frog you know really cool we're gonna get some pictures awesome day how's it going folks 
over in the same area where my dad caught his crappie. I was just fooling around with my little trout magnet, kind of doing a little figure eight in the water right next to the shore there, not giving it much thought. And then all of a sudden I saw my lure and my line just get moved around like something was holding on to it. Set the hook real quick. It was this nice little bass, beautiful fish. My dad pointed out that it's got a nice silver tint to it. Really cool, really shiny, beautiful. Hey folks, back again with another bass. I caught this guy in the same area that I just caught that other bass in. Pretty much repeating the same technique. Um, just letting him, uh, the, the, the lure kind of sit there before pulling it out. I noticed that in the other pond, the fish were following my lure up and then maybe two or three feet away from the shore, then they would strike, you know, in the shallow area. So I'm not sure if these guys are using the same technique or it's just a random coincidence. However, this is a good bass, beautiful color, nice silver glow again. Again, a little bit chubbier than the last one, but uh, yeah, really healthy. Hopefully I can go catch these guys' uh, girlfriend who should be bigger.